I'm gonna make this easy recipe to save your Thanksgiving. That's what I'm here for. If you're not gonna make homemade cornbread, use two boxes of jiffy. Which is about six cups of cornbread. Let's work on the rest of our dish. Pay attention, this is where you lose it. Every holiday. I was like, let me be different, throw some carrot in there. If you don't want to, just do bell pepper, celery, onion, okay? Now we're gonna saute our vegetables. We need flavor, so add some salt. Then you're gonna add some pepper. Cook this on medium for about five to seven. Go ahead and put a little garlic in there. Just a little bit, because you gotta show them that you're here. Add about a cup to two cups of turkey. Cooking your turkey before this dish is important. So the broth that you get from the turkey, in the meat that you get from the turkey, come on. Remember, I cooked turkey before I did this. So I have a whole bunch of broth already that I can go ahead and add to this. It's just flavor, there's a whole bunch of flavor going on. Because I didn't have enough turkey broth, I'm gonna add some chicken you broth. You can do chicken broth, beef broth, chicken stock, beef stock, turkey stock, vegetable stock, it doesn't matter. Just get some liquid, do some slap your mama. You don't need that much salt seasoning because you have chicken broth, but you do need poultry seasoning. We're gonna add a little bit of poultry seasoning right now. And a tablespoon of ground sage. This is important. The sage in the ground poultry is the super. And let's cook this down for about five to 10 minutes. Guys, this is basically it. A couple more steps, the rest is history. Gonna grab that bowl of cornbread and you're gonna add everything to it. The hardest thing to do with cornbread dressing is to keep it moist. So we're gonna add a cream of chicken. Last but not least, add you about three to four tablespoons of butter. This is the consistency you want. Some people put eggs in here. I'm not putting eggs, I don't need Put this bad boy in the oven on 350. We're gonna bake it for about 30 to 35 minutes. It's like the perfect texture with some cranberry sauce or gravy. Oh yeah. I saved your Thanksgiving again for the win. 